we, as we do begin our time here, you know, we're part of the trust here, the historic trust, Boone's Creek Historic Trust. And one of the reasons for a history moment is to acknowledge that uh, and that our Appalachian music is a big part of our history and our trust. And that's what the history moment is going to deal with tonight is uh, Christian music as it's represented in uh, gospel music and country music. And so I'll give you a little moment on that tonight. You know, Christian music has a long history. Psalms were sung in the Bible. And, of course, you know that David played the harp and way back. Uh, Paul and Silas, you remember, sing together in prison to encourage each other in their faith. Uh, in, the 19, in the 1700s, the German composer uh, Bach uh, wrote great hymns every week for the Lutheran churches in Leipzig, Germany. Reverend uh, Dr. Charles Albert Tinley kind of brought the gospel uh, in the States to light in gospel songs. He was born in Berlin, Maryland in 1851. He was a slave. He overcame slavery and poverty and educated himself for the ministry. He became an influential gospel music composer and is known as the grandfather of gospel music. In 1905, Tinley composed the song, Stand By Me, Father, which later inspired uh, Benny King to rewrite and record it in 1961, making it famous with the simple title, Stand By Me. You all know that one? Mo probably more than 400 or so different artists have covered that song over the years. Uh, it's been sung by Bob Dylan, and it's been sung by John Lennon and others. Reverend Tinley's hymnal was called Songs of Paradise, and it's still used today. Five of his hymns appear in the old Methodist hymn hymnals worldwide. Often referred to as the Prince of Preachers, Charles Tinley founded one of the largest Methodist congregations on the East Coast. The Tinley Temple United Methodist Church in Philadelphia is named in his honor. You'll probably remember other gospel singers like Aretha Franklin and Mahalia Jackson and gospel songwriter Tommy Dorsey. What did Tommy Dorsey write? Y'all remember that? What did he sing? Precious Lord, take my hand. Y'all ever heard that song? Precious Lord, take my hand. That's something we could all pray for and sing for, couldn't we? Uh, Ira Sankey, Sankey, and I think it was Dwight L. Moody's song leader, brought Sunday school music and new gospel songs into revivals that Moody conducted from 1875 through 1878 in large cities like Philadelphia and also small towns and in structures that range from converted skating rinks to abandoned railroad depots. And then in the early 1900s, uh, Homer Roadhaver, song leader for Billy Sunday, you know, Billy Sunday was a great baseball player before he became an evangelist and went on the road. Uh, Roadhaver introduced gospel hymns even more upbeat than, than the formerly. The piano replaced the organ and it was joined by other instruments. The lyrics conveyed a positive gospel message that brought thousands to faith in Jesus Christ. Thousands, in ten, uh, I must have been well over millions of people in those revivals all together over those years. What a wonderful thing that was. Later in the late uh, last century, gospel songs and hymns were carried all over the world to millions of people through Billy Graham's revivals by, the, by his organist, Don Houston. You all hear Don play. Some of you may have heard that when you were kids. Pianist Ted Smith and John Ennis were the pianist. Soloist Bev Shea. You all listen to Bev Shea, sing those great hymns. Song leader Cliff Barras. You remember that? Bill and Gloria Gaither wrote popular gospel songs too. Christian ministries like Youth for Christ and Young Life and Campus Crusade and InterVarsity developed their own gospel songbooks for young people. Christian music has always been a part of popular country music here in Appalachia. In the 1930s and 40s, musicians such as the Carter family used Appalachian music to sing gospel songs about their Christian faith. Gospel country music has continued to enjoy a wide audience through the work of many artists through the years like Glenn Campbell and Charles Dan Charlie Daniels, Johnny Cash, Hank Williams Sr., Reba McIntyre, Charlie Pride, Kenny Rogers, Ricky Skaggs and Oak Ridge Boys, the Statler Brothers, Dottie Rambo, Sandy Patty, Pat Boone, Dolly Parton, when we could go on and on, couldn't we? Don't, don't we owe a lot to those folks? 
Well, we're going to take a look at the history of some of those people and some of their songs in the times ahead. These are Saturdays to head together. Hope you'll be back to hear more.